Hold it. I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Mom. Morning, Mom. Oh, Chuck! Hey, come on, sit down. I'm dying to hear all about what happened on your trip to Nelson Field with Uncle Bob. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, everything started out just great. Old Ramrod, I mean General Tolman, was really buddy-buddy with us. You know, your then Uncle Bob's was... an absolute genius. <laughs> we I thought his and... military career was over for sure when Grandpa declared war on the Air Force. Mom, <laughs> Imagine bombing Joplin Air Base with jugs of hard cider. <laughs> I'm finished telling you what happened at Nelson Field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Grandpa bombed it, too. <laughs> they flew out here and opened up a second front. No. Yeah, I, I don't know. Things were going just great. We were laughing at those guys back in Joplin, and then the cider hit the field. <laughs> Hold on, Sam. I think a fuel drum exploded. <laughs> Sir, the base is under attack. Attack! Yes, sir? Did he say Grandpa? Uh, sounded something like that, yes, sir. <laughs> Shall we order a scramble, sir? Of course, order a scramble. And Colonel Collins will need it. Uh, yes, scramble, sir? But, but see, that wouldn't with his air. Get up there. Get up there! I'll break you down so far you'll be saluting your stupid nephew. Stupid nephew. <laughs> my life, I've never seen anybody as mad as that general. Well, what happened after that? Well, I don't know. I got out of there and headed for home. You didn't wait for Bob? Mom, at that point, it was every man for himself. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go up and wake him up. i got to hear the rest of this. I'll get it, Mom. Hello? Good morning, Chuck. Has the boss left for the studio yet? Oh, no, not yet, Miss Schultz. Mom just went upstairs to wake him. All right, Colonel. Time to rise and shine. Come on, come on. I want to hear what happened at Nelson Field. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh, I'm going to make it. Can't you wait till I've swilled my coffee? Where's Bob? I don't know about that. Then he hasn't been home all night? He hate. Oh, I'm going to... Regular tomcat, that young fella. It's about time he was just straightening out. Grandpa. About as much privacy in this room as in a railroad depot. Where's Uncle Bob? We don't know. He hasn't been home all night. Well, where could he be? Maybe he spent the night at Nelson Air Base. Mom, the way General Tallman was blowing his top, that's the last place he'd stay. Listen to me, somebody! <laughs> My grandfather was to blame, not me! Now somebody unlock this door! Grandpa, we're afraid that you may have gotten Bob into trouble. Oh, me? Well, I was the one that broke him to hold her when he was a frisky little colt. Kept him out of mischief, telling him the difference between right and wrong. Between for me, that would be behind bars right now. <laughs> Spent a comfortable night? I spent a lousy night, sir. <laughs> the cell was damp, the, the bed was hard, the food was cold. I wasn't even allowed to have a cigarette. Not even a cigarette? No, sir. And I demand to know on what you demand. I request to know, sir, on, on what grounds I was placed under arrest and held prisoner here overnight. On the grounds that your jenny-flying, jug-dropping grandfather set my military career back two years. Well, that was my grandfather, sir. Why take it out on me? 
Because he got away and you didn't. But it's not a legitimate reason to hold me. In order to exercise such arbitrary authority over me, we'd have to be at war. We are. You and me. <laughs> Sir, I happen to know my rights under the Articles of War. In order to hold me, a specific charge must be made, and that charge defined. Charge defined? Yes. Now, there's a man who knows his military law. There's a man who goes by the book. I better... Yes, I better talk to my orderly. I may be guilty of improper procedure. the specific charge, sir? Arson. Arson? <laughs> this cigarette came from the post exchange. I define the charge as setting fire to government property. <laughs> what? Return the prisoner to his cell. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You, you can't put me back in that monkey cage. Oh, yes, just a minute, Corporal. Well, that, that reminds me. The prisoner complained that conditions in his cell were most uncomfortable. Dampness, cold food... Well, sir, as to the dampness, we haven't been able to begin construction on the new drainage ditch due to a shortage of help. Oh. Well, Collins, I will rectify that situation immediately. Thank you, sir. Oh, fine, Grandpa. Yeah. But where's that Bobby boy? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen him yet. No, still out gallivanting now. Yeah, ungrateful young playboy. I taught him this here business, so he'd amount to something. You know where he'd be now if it weren't for me? Hmm. Digging ditches. <laughs> Grandpa, who's going to take all the pictures we got scheduled today? You, you noticed? Well, don't look at me, daughter. I ain't going to set foot in that studio. Able-bodied young scamp ought no better than ask his grandpappy to do his work for him. But, Grandpa... No, no, much about it. I ain't going to take the pictures. If he thinks I am, he's got another thing. Hi, Hi Joanne. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> well, blood's thicker than water. <laughs> And furthermore, sir, prisoner or no prisoner, a man of my rank should not be subjected to the indignity of shoveling dirt. Well, Collins, I will rectify that immediately. <laughs> what's, what's a horse doing on an air base anyway? The general likes to ride. Well, what does he need with a horse? He's been riding me ever since I got here. <laughs> Keep shoveling. Look, this has gone far enough. I'm no stable boy. I'm a pilot and a colonel. Okay, colonel. Pilot. <laughs> All right, you two beauties. Come on out here now. Let's get these here two fashion shots. That's it. I just kind of over... The same two girls I've seen coming through the front office. Mm -hmm. What'd you do with your figures? Leave them in the dressing room? <laughs> well, these stars aren't very revealing. This is a sack. Well, sacks is for potatoes, not tomatoes. <laughs> Where are you from, honey? Paris, France. Oh, well. It ain't your fault. You know, you can't blame a little girl from a foreign country for not knowing nothing about fashions. <laughs> Where are you from, honey? Boston. Same problem. <laughs> you see, if you two girls were from Joplin, then they couldn't fool you. <laughs> then you, you run on back into the dressing room and slip into something 
Modern. Grandpa Collins, where's Bob? Well, honey, I don't know where he is, but I'll tell you this. Wherever he is, you can be sure he's got his arm around some cute little city. <laughs> At least, let me make a telephone call. Nobody knows where I am. I got a whole studio full of models waiting for me. Models? Yeah. You see, it, it just so happens that, that I'm a Hollywood photographer. Oh, Hollywood, huh? Oh, say, I got the most beautiful collection of models you've ever seen in your life. No kidding. Oh, just living doll. And you know something? They, they flip over a big, husky, handsome guy like you. Oh, you think so? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you'd have to beat him off with a club. <laughs> say, um, you think you could arrange a weekend pass for yourself? Oh, I already have one. Well, then, say no more. Just lead me to the nearest telephone. <laughs> General had it installed for convenience. Well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> line to the general's office. You didn't ask me. Look, just for this, you can make your own plans for the weekend. I already have. I'm taking my wife and kids to the beach. <laughs> what a... Hello? Uh, yes, sir. The general wants to speak to his horse. <laughs> gone far enough. After all, I, I am an officer in the United States Air Force, and I don't think I should be subjected to cleaning out stables. Colonel Collins, I will rectify that immediately. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Keep scrubbing. What, what a 10,000-foot runway with a toothbrush? Send him in. <laughs> well, Collins, have you finished scrubbing the runway? Oh, that's impossible, sir. It's full of ruts and holes and bumps. That runway doesn't need scrubbing, it needs replacing. <laughs> Wise guy. Personal call on that Collins, hmm? Yes, sir. All right. Call the stable and have my horse saddled. I've got to get away from all this noise. Right away, sir. But um, send for me if Collins has any more suggestions for improving our air base. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Collins Photography. Sure thing. This is Margaret. Have you seen Grandpa? Yeah, yeah, he's in the studio photographing a couple of the boss's models. Oh, thank goodness. I thought maybe he'd attack Nelson Field again. What? Well, I called General Tallman's office just now to see if he had any news of Bob. And I could hear a machine gun firing away like crazy. <laughs> Have they seen the boss? Yes, apparently he left there to go fishing. Fishing? Well, that was the impression I got from the orderly. It was kind of noisy, but it sounded like he said that Bob was up the creek. <laughs> the creek? Well, should see? Hey, I'll call you back, Margaret. What's the trouble? Bob's grandfather refuses to photograph us in these dresses. Can't say that I blame him. <laughs> yes, we look like a couple of flippers. Flippers. <laughs> Flopper? Flappers. Flappers, flappers. He says we look like them. Gee, what does that mean? It's an expression from the 20s, isn't it, Josie? Yeah, yeah. It means a girl that's actually the ones that I... How should I 
Chicago. <laughs> It's a kind of a vamp. A flirt. A girl who necks. Oh! Then I'm a flipper. <laughs> Which reminds me, where's Bob? Nobody knows. I'll bet that's where he is, in the arms of some other flipper. Trembling with delight as she holds him. <laughs> Stay down here till the young whines. <laughs> the general will be back pretty soon. <laughs> Fellas, have a heart. I've got a whole studio full of models waiting for me. Let me phone. Nobody knows where I am. Models? Hey, that's right. I saw some of those pictures in your office. Boom! 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 Tell me, are, are you married? Me? No, I'm just prematurely worried. <laughs> <laughs> if you let me use the telephone, I'll fix you up with the prettiest model in town. You got any tall ones? Oh, I love tall ones. <laughs> How's six feet three? <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> She's not skinny, is she? See that revolver? She's the same caliber as that revolver. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a 45. Mm, not only can you make a call, but if the line's busy, I'll, fl I'll fly to town with the message. Yeah, without a plane. Hey, wait a minute. The general ain't gonna like this. You're right. You are forbidden to transmit any messages. Oh, fellas, look. Guard, let us station ourselves outside that door to make sure the prisoner does not release a pigeon. Right. Oh, look, fellas. <laughs> hey, where would he get a pigeon? <laughs> there are some around. Yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. 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 Having trouble? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, uh, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir, you see, um, the general's phone was reported out of order, sir, and I just volunteered to fix it. Oh, I didn't know you were qualified in communications equipment. Oh, oh yes, sir, yes. I, I, I've done a lot of fixing on phones. <laughs> That's interesting. And you say my equipment's in bad shape? Oh, just terrible. Just terrible, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Collins? Uh, <laughs> you will rectify that immediately. <laughs> Wise guy. Mom, that was General Shoup at the door. He wants to see you. Does he have any news of Bob? No, but he found Grandpa's plane parked at the Van Nuys Air Base this morning. So that's where he landed last night. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Margaret. Chuck tells me you found Grandpa's plane. Yes, we found this in the cockpit, but no trace of your grandfather. I'm afraid he might have wandered off and gotten lost. He wandered off all right, right into Bob's bed. No. Now he's at Bob's studio photographing Bob's models. Oh, well, then the old gentleman is safe. He's safe, but I don't know about the models. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, you two wine chaps. <laughs> just flash me your friendliest grin. Lift your chin, just Grandpa. to... Grandpa. Yeah, honey. You promised me you'd photograph those dresses. I'm keeping my promise, ain't I? Well, you're supposed to show what the girls look like inside the dresses. The boss is going to be mighty upset with you. Upset with me? <laughs> I want to tell you something. He wouldn't be where he is right now if it weren't for me. For heaven's sake, where is he? On top. That's where he is, right on top. And just because I taught him the three F's. Flirting, flying, and photographing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Bob Collins, flirting flies. <laughs> Boss, where are you? I'm in trouble. That's where I am, Schultze. Now, now listen carefully. Get General Shoup on the other line and tell him that old Ramrod is holding me incommunicado here at Nelson. Right, boss. Hang on. The, the General Tallman's got the boss prisoner at Nelson Field. Oh. What? I thought I straightened out that little stinker. <laughs> Bumpy boy. Say, now, don't you worry, son. I'll get you loose. Hello. Grandpa? Is that you? Yeah. Now, you tell that little upside general. I'm coming down there and I'm going to blast him again. What? No, no, Grandpa, wait a minute. Wait, Grandpa. Grandpa. General Shoup, you'd be doing everybody a great favor if you could just find some way to um, impound that old airplane of Grandpa's. You know, for years... Ma. Ma, Miss Schultz heard from Uncle Bob. He's being held prisoner by old Ramrod. Who, Chuck? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, uh, General Tallman. That's better. Well, can you get him to release Bob? Well, I think I can reason uh, with old Ramrod. <laughs> and Martin, I'll get rid of Grandpa's Jenny at the same time. Really? Well, how? I just happen to remember that General Tallman has a peculiar hobby of collecting old airplanes. Well, but I... Oh, you'll trade him the Jenny for prisoner Bob? I think I can swing it. <laughs> Besides, you get a kick out of flying that old crate. Can I go along, sir? You cannot. Grandpa's oh. airplane is very dangerous. General Shoup will fly it alone. Besides... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to sound like that. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Margaret. I've had it all checked over, but I'd still rather fly it alone. Besides, there's only one out there. <laughs> oh, did I hear you right? I'm afraid so, sir. He says he's going to attack again. This time we'll be ready for him. You get out to that gun emplacement. Me? You? I'll give you your orders in three words. Bring him down! <laughs> Where's the field, Jenny? See if we can get down now without shaking something loose. Here he comes, sir. Is Collins ready? Yes, sir. He's commenced firing, sir. He's placing the bursts over his head, forcing them down. Alert the APs. As soon as that crate rolls to a stop, I want that old buzzard brought in here on the double. Yes, sir. Collins, that was a wonderful job. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm dropping all charges against you. Shall we let bygones be bygones? By all means, thank you, sir. You're free to go whenever you want. I... Come on! Who shot me down? Who shot me down? I did, you old goat. <laughs> you so much as ever set foot in that plane again. Let me tell you something. I'm... General Shoup. General Shoup. Shoup. Collins, what is the meaning of this? I, I, I... You have shot down my superior officer. But, sir, you, you, you... you have you any idea what it feels like to be a sitting duck for ACAC in a bundle of banning wire? Y y y no, 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 sir. General Shoup, sir. I will rectify that immediately. Thank <laughs> you.